back again. Right, let me show you this. This is the piece that's going to hold the torch. It's got one lovely big flat on it just there. And it runs through there. This will help. So this little flat here will help when the glue goes in. That will be a way of um, exhausting the excess glue. So that's good. But that flat is going on the back. So it'll be against that surface there. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill into here to put that dowel in. And I've got to make sure it's exactly right. So to make sure it's exactly right, I'm going to, I'm going to clamp it to this so that when that's, when that's in there like that, I know I'm in the right place up there. So that's to mark it out. But to mark it out where it's going to be there and to get the angle. And then I'll set an angle guide up for that. And then I'll have this here while I'm drilling it. This is a piece, this is a bit, this is what I've not been looking forward to. And if you have those moments of, I don't know whether I should be doing this. I don't know whether I'm worried about this. I've done such a lot of work. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to make it. I have those moments. And I think, especially if you've got other things going on in your life and, and you're not surrounded by a team, I'm not Paul Sellers, I'm not Rob Cosman. There isn't 3, 10, 15, 25 people that can G you up and give you the motivation and give you, the, give you that, that pat on the back that you're doing really well. It's just you in a workshop on your own, as in my case. And, and in a way, I envy the likes of Rob Cosman, Paul Sellers. They've got those people supporting them. And it makes them feel... It must make them feel so good to just, well, I can do this, I know I can, because I've done this before. When you're on your own and you've got things going on in your life that make you doubt yourself, it's, let's not go there. Anyhow, watch some of my other videos. Watch some of the videos of me going on walk with the dog. Watch some of those with me doing other bits and pieces. You'll get a gist of where I am and what's going on. And um, woodworking is the best therapy. So it's what I should do, and it's sometimes paying my bills. Sometimes I'm struggling. Still not over COVID. I've still not. I've still not. My work hasn't resumed. My work that I was doing hasn't yet resumed since COVID. So this was going to be a video about this, but really it's going to end up being a video about me still not doing very well because of COVID, and the fallout from it is. I've still not got some of the workload and I'm trying and that's why videos are happening because this is to try and help things happen and also I suppose as a therapy but going back to woodworking as a therapy you know I teach evening classes and, and it's great the guys are great males females they are wonderful and I think they know that focusing on something like this I was going home the other day and I stopped because uh, a woman stopped me who just finished a course here and she said oh, I love, love doing this and I love doing glass cutting and I love doing all this it's so good to be able to it's so good to be able to focus on something else and do something and take your mind off all the problems so woodworking as a therapy is very good we need it it's probably the best thing I've now made another video this one about woodworking as a therapy and it is it's when you're focusing on marking out cutting with your saw carefully chiseling is your chisel is your chisel blunt is it sharp I need to do some sharpening right focus on the sharpening focus on the 30 degrees focus on a little bit of stropping focus on in that initial 25 degrees the polished back all of this just to make a chisel sharp so that you can cut to a line it's if you can hear that, that's Joe next door with a grinder, glass grinding. Anyhow, woodworking as a therapy, it should happen. I'm sure, I think Paul Sellers has mentioned it. I don't think, I don't think Rob Cosman's ever mentioned it, um, him personally. But I know he works with the PHP guys, they do the Purple Heart Project. As a, you've got to follow Rob Cosman just as the, for the fact that he does the Purple Heart Project 
he's teaching guys all the time it's for their mental health it's brilliant and to keep them active and working and it's sort of one of those days i'm going to stop this video now <laughs> thanks for watching and i'm going to get on with this because the customers where is it where is it and i don't blame them at all i don't blame them at all as somebody said to me recently Jamie, if it wasn't for bad luck, you wouldn't have much luck at all, would you? And I was like, yeah, thanks. You're right. And he said, you'll get your break. He said, you'll get your break. This is an elderly gentleman. I did peace for him years ago. And he still follows me, loves what I do. And he keeps saying, he's saying, it'll, it'll come, it'll come.